Hello friend, welcome to Stack Phi and if you help me to solve today's physics problem till the end of the video, then you get a cookie. So let's go. Hey what is up everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. This is Rami Zaman and today I have a question from Modern Physics. I just now returned from my coaching, just had a class of my class 12 students and I am very much tired but as I have told you that I will be uploading a video today. So, jo bol diya, so bol diya. Anyways, so in today's question we have a moving neutron collides with a stationary hydrogen atom in ground state as a result. It excites and then de-excites, fine. The corresponding radiation falls on a surface having work function sigma. The minimum value of required kinetic energy for a neutron is E0, fine. And possible minimum value of de Broglie wavelength of emitted photoelectrons is lambda0. If neutron hits stationary helium plus ion instead of stationary hydrogen atom, then minimum kinetic value of kinetic energy for neutron is E prime. Okay, lot of things happening here. Uh, let us go one by one. So let us check the first question, first option. Okay, the value of energy transferred from neutron to hydrogen atom is 3 naught by 4. First, let us understand what is E naught. E naught is the minimum kinetic energy required for neutron okay uh, to excite the hydrogen atom which was initially in the ground state okay so let us go through some small amount of theory so this is the neutron moving with a speed u okay uh, rest hydrogen atom it collides now see uh, as we are talking about the minimum energy that means maximum amount of energy from this neutron should be lost so that it could excite the hydrogen atom as well as it could provide some amount of uh, kinetic energy as well right so the collision must be perfectly inelastic okay so considering perfectly inelastic collision after collision both the particles will gain the same velocity conserving momentum before and after collision so final speed of both of the particles will be u by 2 Okay, so loss of kinetic energy or the loss of total energy in this collision is utilized. Okay, so this loss of energy is actually utilized to excite the hydrogen atom. Okay, so that is del E. Now, see, if you want to excite the hydrogen atom which was initially at ground state, minimum amount of energy should be such that it could move the electron from n equals to 1 state to n equals to 2 state okay that means if this energy is e1 and this energy e2 the at least del e should be e2 minus e1 so we are talking about the minimum condition here okay so this loss of energy should be equal to e2 minus e1 where e2 being the energy of the uh, first excited state and e1 is for the ground state okay so the minimum kinetic energy from here we could just rearrange this one should be twice of that energy gap between the uh, first excited state and the ground state okay so i hope you can understand here so according to our question this value is e naught okay so e naught is twice of del e and what is del e e2 minus e1 so del e is equal to e naught by 2 okay so this we need to remember for the rest of the question so first option is energy transferred from the neutron to hydrogen atom so the initial kinetic energy of the neutron is half m u square final kinetic energy of the neutron is half m v1 square we have already calculated v1 as u by 2 uh, now we'll just now see the difference of this kinetic energy and this kinetic energy is utilized to increase the kinetic energy of the hydrogen atom as well as to excite it so the question they have asked energy transferred to the hydrogen atom that means we are talking about the excitation energy as well as its kinetic energy so we'll just subtract this energy with this energy we get half m u square minus half m u by 2 square just follow the rest of the thing half m u square is e naught so the energy transfer is 3 by 4 e naught so option a is correct right so let us go through option 2 option b the value of lambda naught is this thing. So what is lambda naught? Lambda naught is the possible minimum value of de Broglie wavelength of emitted photoelectrons. What does that mean? Deco. This one is the excited electron. Okay. Now that ex excited electron in the minimum condition uh, falls on the ground state, emits a photon, 
that photon reaches to this metal sigma amount of energy is utilized for making the electron free and rest of the energy is transferred as the kinetic energy of the electron now due to that kinetic energy the electron will uh, behave as a wave of de broglie wavelength this value right i hope this is clear now the incident photon is of energy e2 minus e1 which is also equal to e0 by 2 and you already know the definition of e0 given in the question now that e0 by 2 sigma is utilized for the work function to make the electron free rest of the energy is the kinetic energy so the de broglie wavelength formula is h divided by root over 2 m times the kinetic energy of the electron that is e0 by 2 minus sigma so this is the expression for the de broglie wavelength fine so as you can see option 2 is also matching right now for option c and d so both are contradictory to each other either option c or d will be correct so what is e prime first what is e prime the value of e prime e prime is the experiment that we are doing with hydrogen atom instead of hydrogen atom if we replace it with the helium plus ion okay uh, then the minimum value of kinetic energy for the neutron is E prime just like for the previous experiment it was E naught or E zero now for the second experiment it is E prime so let us understand it properly see uh, ignore these things see this is the neutron helium collision occurs perfectly inelastic collision because we are talking about the minimum kinetic energy for this neutron okay so maximum loss should be there of energy that then only the helium ion will get excited so collision takes place for inelastic collision both will have the same speed moment conserve the momentum you will get final speed as u by 5 the loss of energy use the formula half m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 times uh, relative initial speed square that is u square and it should be greater than equal to del e but now del e is quite different see for helium the del the value of del e will be four times the value of del e for hydrogen okay so let me write it for helium for helium okay and that should be equal to four times del for hydrogen we'll also derive it later on because why because for helium the proton number is two so the energy levels will follow the formula minus 13.6 by n square times z square right so there will be a factor multiplication of factor 4 anyways we'll see that uh, after some time so this is the loss of energy that should be greater than equal to uh, the energy gap between the second and the sorry the first excited state and the ground state of helium ion okay now half m u square that should be the minimum kinetic energy of the neutron should be equal to greater than equal to 5 by 4 times del e helium okay now let us come to our final uh, slide c the minimum value of neutron while colliding with the hydrogen atom was e naught which was twice of the energy gap between the first two energy levels similarly for helium it should be 5 by 4 times the energy gap between first two energy levels for of the helium ion which is 4 times the energy gap of the hydrogen ion hydrogen atom okay so that gives you 5 times del e h now just take the ratio of these two equations you will get the minimum kinetic energy for of the neutron while colliding with the helium ion should be 5 by 2 times e naught and you already know the definition of e naught so according to that option d is becoming the right answer okay right statement so i hope you all have enjoyed this video just uh, go through this question once again if you didn't understand anything and i'll see in the next one peace take care as you have come to the end of the video you get a cookie i'll see in the next one peace take care